So today we're going to look at the seven early signs of kidney disease. There's actually five stages that the kidney could potentially go through, very mild to very severe. When you start to reach the level of four or five, um, you have to avoid certain things in your diet big time, like you have to avoid potassium, uh, phosphorus, and there's quite a few other ones. But what's interesting is that potassium has a protective effect on the kidney. But when there's a certain point where it's gone too far, uh, the body can't handle it and you want to avoid potassium. All right, let's take a look at the seven early signs of kidney disease. The first one would be a metallic taste in your mouth or you, your breath smells like ammonia. And because the kidney is a filter, it's like an oil filter, things are backing up and it's coming out of the breath, it's coming out of the mouth, you're tasting certain things that you shouldn't taste. Number two, you have protein aversion. You have a great dislike of protein, especially meat. Number three, you're nauseous or you're vomiting. Number four, difficulty with concentration. And number five, you have itchiness. Number six, a loss of appetite. Number seven, your face is swollen, your feet are swollen, and even your hands have edema and they're swelling. Because the kidney has millions of tiny little filters, okay, the blood goes through and then it actually recycles a lot of things and it gets rid of the waste, one of the best uh, indicators of kidney dysfunction, whether it's one, two, three, four, five, would be to check the GFR. It stands for glomerular filtration rate. This is a measurement of how well the kidney is acting as a filter. And one of the ways they look at this value is they look at the creatine in the blood. And creatine is a type of protein. Also, if you have protein in the urine or you have high BUN, blood urea nitrogen, and this is a, uh, in a blood test. And one of the biggest causes of kidney damage is uh, being a diabetic or a pre-diabetic because the years of chronic consumption of refined carbohydrates, junk foods can all cause kidney destruction. If your glucose is on the high end, that's called glucose toxicity, what happens is that that starts damaging the tiny filtration units in the kidney, uh, the blood vessels of the retina of the eye, the destruction of the internal layer of the coronary artery on the heart, uh, as well as the distal nerves, which is the nerves at the very end of the toes or the bottom of the feet or the hands. So you're getting destruction of the capillaries, which is starving off nutrients to the nerves. But the kidney is definitely one area that this high level of sugar destroys. So of course, what I would recommend, regardless of what stage the person is at, would be to get on a healthy keto plan immediately. Of course, if you're stage five, you're going to have to make some adjustments with certain um, nutrients like potassium and phosphorus. But the combination of intermittent fasting with healthy keto, with other things as well, like this is a really, really good uh, herb that has been shown to decrease uh, creatine to improve the filtration rate of the kidneys. And I'll put a link down below to show some incredible uh, hardcore data on the benefits of astragalus uh, on the kidney. It's extremely potent in helping to reverse kidney damage. All right, thanks for watching.